hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh you are watching miss continental youtube channel so guys uh i'm not happy at all i'm not happy because so much uh killing of uh, innocent people who are trying to go about their daily activities you know trying to make things work in their life trying to care for their family and trying to make a difference in the community uh it's just too much now very rampant in nigeria everybody wants to be rich overnight and it's, it's just so crazy so many deaths since the beginning of this year uh from one to the other from one to the another uh typically i stay away from news like this uh because i only like to analyze issues uh, from a very constructive standpoint for that matter i don't get involved with things like this because i believe you know leave the dead to rest in peace you don't come to social media and talk about it because it's not a good thing right so but you know this is just so touching especially when is the death of um somebody that is like very close home and i say very close home because a very good friend of mine a sweet heart for that matter is a friend to this guy okay so they are like childhood friends childhood friends they play tennis together they do sports together and of course he i mean made a, break, a breakthrough in this uh, trado or medical feed and then as we all know when you start making money your network change right so and um you know that kind of you know causes cost a, a kind of separation and um, then the they are not too close anymore but they are kind of they are kind of acquainted with each other okay but that closeness is not no longer there so that is why it's just so touching and when this my friend told me so much about this uh, disease i'm like oh wow so you know and i thought i want to bring it here and you know what we might learn one or two things when you start making money and to start working well just be very very careful too many friends you know that's why these recent things that have been happening around Davido, I'm like, this guy better be very, very careful. Too many friends. And you don't know who to point, you know, accusing fingers to when things happen like this. And you're not even, the guy is not even alive anymore to like be able to like, you know, say, okay, this did it, this did it. This guy was, I mean, generous to the, according to the information that I gathered. So anyways, I'm not going to go into all that. I'm just going to go straight to the point. And I know some of us will be like, what happened? What happened? So this is what. So he has his business, his office in um, Lagos State. He's from Oyo State, Omo Oyo. Uh, but his business is in Lagos State. As many of us know, people migrate and travel to Lagos, you know, because everything sells in Lagos. Just anything sells in Lagos. So... He has an office. He lives in Lagos State, although he's from Oyo State. And he has his business in his office in Igadun area of Ikotun. Igando, as, um, for those of us who are not very familiar with uh, Lagos State or Ikotun, uh, shares the same, you know. Okay, let me just use a uh, synagogue temple as a landmark. Okay, and I know many of us, even non-Nigerians, other African people, uh, know about this synagogue temple tb joshua i'm talking about so it's kind of a landmark to kind of you know describe where the area is so is that area so that's where he has his office and three days before his death i mean three days before he was assass assassinated by government i think his office got burnt down i mean not significantly but some targeted areas in the office and that's where you know he keeps his um records financial records and all that and i think they did that to kind of um cover up for uh a fraud that was dictated and that was under investigation so a 15 million naira was missing and um, you know the police were called we were invited into the matter to kind of investigate you know what happened how did it happen to kind of get the traces of it so it was during that process uh, that the office was burnt down i mean not significantly but a particular department of it so and three days later he was gone down H how worse can this be so he was actually on his way to or your state uh maybe you know for business or for whatever reasons and he had two escorts police escorts with him and uh in the car that was he was driving in was another staff a lady staff 
And, you know, I'm giving you this information because I got them first hand. I mean, when I mean first hand, raw, raw information. So he was in a car with um, a, a female uh, co-worker, uh, worker, I mean, staff. And the driver was driving. Okay, so three of them in one car and then the police escort, you know, they were behind. And these police escorts, they were doing illegal duty. Illegal duty in this sense. They are policemen. They are doing illegal duty because they were not assigned to be escorts at that point, at that time. So uh, so they were following the car in which this guy was driving in with his driver and the other staff. They were following behind. And they were going, I think from what I was told at some point, uh, Mr. Yusuf now asked the driver of the car, his driver, to go to to go and join the other car behind that the police escorts were driving in so now in his own car in the other car who was left with himself and um, his uh, female staff so since the driver was no longer there so he now came on the driver's seat okay so i'm now wondering like again that was the report that we had he's not alive to actually give account of what happened Okay, so and I'm like, he asked the driver to go and join the escort, and he was now driving the car, and then the assassins, I mean the the gunmen, ambushed them on the way and then shot at him. And how did they know? Or did they mean to kill the driver? Do you, understand? Do you guys understand? So I'm kind of not too clear about what um information that is out there right now although i mean some suspects have been caught already i mean actually those two police escorts they are suspects already and they said two other staff and i would believe those two other staff would be the driver and probably another staff i don't know if it's that female staff so but i'm very very hundred percent sure that that driver <laughs> has a lot to say you know as to what happened so it's not just clear that the driver he asked the driver to go to the police escort car and then he was now driving and then the gunman i know they approached the gunman and the gunman just shot at him so how did that happen how did the gunman know that he would be driving at that point because typically it's not expected that he will be the driver again these are other details that will be coming up later but right now i'm just here to announce to you that um a popular uh uh, Trado medical practitioner uh, by the uh, other name Oko Olonyu has been murdered, cold-blooded murder. I mean, just kid like that. And um, you know what? I don't know. It's, it's now a crime to be doing well. Okay? I was discussing with this, my friend. I'm like, I mean, what is this? It's a crime. You just need to limit yourself now to be free. You know, instead of having two cars, just have one. Instead of having two houses, just have one. If, when you see that your business is about to flourish, I better just cut out and say, mm -mm, business, you are working too fast. Just leave me for... I mean, I don't understand. There's hardship in the country, and this is an employer of labor. And look at what is happening. The same inner carcass, the same people around him, the same people that are feeding from him. It's, 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 it's just so, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. The other one last time, the U.S. Uh, accountant that retired to Nigeria, uh, in Ikorodu, his gate man again, his own gate man that he was paying, was also the one who arranged with assassins that killed him. So at the end of the day, it's the same people that you are feeding. I mean, maybe it's not they do good again. I not just understand. When you are selfish, they will say you are too stingy. And when you are liberal, nasty wahala. That is why, Davido, I'm just like looking at this young boy. May God let this boy last too. I know we all are aware of the recent brohaha between him, Peruzi, Ichoma. This one sleep with this. This one sleep with that. This one, are all those. That guy should just be very, too many friends. Have you ever seen Davido on video with friends? Be like market, then they missed. I mean, somebody like that, if hand just touch and you can't pinpoint who killed him. And if he decides to isolate himself, again, they'll say he's proud. I don't know what's come good for this word. Anyways, 
I mean, the police is uh, intense in the investigation, and uh, yes, they actually questioning some people. I mean, that is the Ibadan squad now because it happens in the Oyo state. So they are questioning some people, and they have deemed this a case of covering up the bad deed. Okay, in quote, a case of covering up the bad deed, you know, trying to cover up a crime. Remember, I told you at first, three days before his death, they burnt down a particular department in the office. I mean, that's the department that keeps bookkeeping, accounting information and all that just to cover up the fraud of 50 million Naira. That one overdo them all. So the crime that this guy commit now is trying to investigate how his money uh, uh, got missing. And then he's traveling. And by the way, how did they know that he's going to be traveling that day? <laughs> All these drivers. Eh? After we go there against the Aousa Fulani, all this, that. All these people, I don't know whether they don't corrupt them now. When they are your security men, they can do anything to protect you. They are so honest. Eh? They say, Tom Mandola, give them 10,000 naira a month. They are just happy with that. So far, they have a place where they can put kuli kuli in the money. See that in front there? They say, oh, God, wah, lie. You know, when they speak, they outside for you like this. Wah, lie. I mean, they, they are just after, they are not greedy. But we, Southerners, South, South, or whatever you call yourself, Southwest, Southerners, South East, South Zigiworo, once we give, they give us an employment, we see your guy, the right big car. We, we serve. We want to drive that car. We want to be in this position. See, these people, they have more than sleep. Nobody's going to sleep anymore. So, investigation is in, is, is in progress. Some people have been arrested. And uh, I will be more than willing to come up here with an update and to let you know how this... Um, crime uh investigation has been solved and the closure and everything may his soul rest in perfect peace anyway thanks guys for watching until i come your way again i remain uh your one and only miss continental do not forget to subscribe to my channel and please share 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 these videos okay god bless stay tuned bye bye